Hi everyone. Sorry it's been such a long time. It's been ages and ages. There's been lots going on and I'm not going to bore you with all the details. So, i um, got a couple of um, plans in motion at the moment, but I want to finish my 12 by 12. My next um, program, um, program. <laughs> my next project um i'm really looking forward to it um i've not seen anything like it just yet um i, I suppose if i look i'll probably find millions of them now um but yeah no i'm really excited but we've got to do this first um this has taken quite a while to get because this is at a bigger scale than normal, it seems to have taken twice as long. And because I had to take such a, a break to do with health issues and and other issues, um, it, it's taken even longer. I mean, if you were to sit down and do this yourself, it would never take this long. So don't be put off by the time it's taken me to record this. This... Um, those are my issues, they are not the issues of the album. Goodness me, can you hear that wind? It's like really spooky, it's really spooky. I will show you uh, a couple of bits that I've been working on. What I'm really quite excited about is recently I done um, a tutorial where I showed you how to make tassels, but I also showed you that I bought some um, alcohol brush tip pens now everyone's done the alcohol brush tip pen to death but they actually use a um a uh, like a copic like coloring system so i've been using those color testing those and i finally gave up and i bought myself some copics um i didn't buy the sketches i bought the the chow um but they're fabulous there's no difference it's a it's just a, a smaller barrel um which makes the refills last even longer so <laughs> why wouldn't you um plus i also use the alter new um i'm a big advocate for the alter new um, pens let me just show you these here um if there's a spider on this i'm dropping it okay um as you can see this is only a fraction of what i actually do have dog cares oh it has um my my beetle on i have i have a beetle and she's called betty um so there these are beautiful and i've got refills for these um and i've got extra nibs um i suppose the only thing i find they they make it easy for you because they come in packs of four so you've got light medium dark extra dark so you can't really go wrong so i'm a big advocate for those the copics obviously once you get used to the way the um the numbers work you can't go wrong and i've been coloring and loving it and um obviously you can buy the refills and inks for those and then my fine color brush tips um i have just i you can buy tips for those um i the a bag of five tips i think was three pound 98 um and to be honest i think they work in most of seem to work in most of the um most of the if i've gone to replace a tip they all seem to be the same sort of size so uh, you might be able to use those with your 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 tips your markers um but i think i have found i'm just waiting for the reply the refills for my um fine color now if they are and i get them and all is well the refills for those are under two dollars so 
<laughs> that could be a major score. But until that arrives, I'm not doing anything. But I will do, I'll be showing you a colour test between the Copic, the Alter New, and the Fine Colour um, to see how how they fare. So anyway, anywho, that was a load of rubbish out of nowhere, wasn't it? But some of you who are undecided and 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 you know maybe want a cheaper alternative to Copic and the Chow ones are still a bit expensive for you. The thing I like about the fun colour is you can buy them in colour family. So if you only want like the red um well, the yellow green you would buy the yellow green and just not buy the green because there's no point in buying the green after using them i find this out um so you can leave a lot of the families out and just have the families that you would use every time and there are a lot of people on there that will tell you that they have them all but they only use certain ones so I will show you those um like I said we'll wait we'll wait for the um for the uh refills to arrive we'll see if it's too good to be true shall we um I have been working on stuff did you see this now this is a die um, unfortunately this has been out in the sun for a bit too long I made it a little while ago and I opened up it obviously I filled it with chocolate because what else would you fill it with and it's lovely this was my first attempt and um, this ribbon here is gorgeous but unfortunately the ribbon I uh, the tape I used on the corner wasn't the same tape that I used on the other so it wasn't as sticky so they come off so i'm going to redo those but they come in a die that comes in the die you will have to excuse the fraying bits like i say it was my test piece so i didn't mind making a mess um but this is a die that i got off aliexpress so if anyone's got this and doesn't quite know how to use it or thinks i really like that because i'm going to use a lot of these at christmas with night lights on as um, in my windowsill and on my table, blah, blah, blah. So that, that's one of the ones that I've been using. Um, I have got so much stuff that I'm not even gonna run through all my new stuff because there's simply oodles of it. Um, what I will say is um, I've made, finally <laughs> given in and got also the, um, because uh, I make a lot of stickers the creative station um, sticker maker I have the small one which I use a lot but I'm using more and more for for other bits and pieces that I felt and that I'm gonna get that so I did but I have got thousands of other things and I'm not gonna go through any more I will say I recently joined the the tonic um, the tonic uh, what do you call it monthly subscription kit this is their um, die of the month um, they do have the these wonderful things um, the windows so you can make them shakers see those I've covered them in blue but they're shakers so you can make them shakers and make all sorts um, it's a really good club so I'm going to be doing a monthly tutorial with my tonic um, club uh, but look aren't these cute you get those in there with full size ones um, but one of these is the new stones they've got a new this one's a sh that this one's a shimmering, and this one is like um, it's it's called the Stone Range. Um, I've yet to try that. I've got a bigger bowl. I still haven't tried that. I've been a bit like I say. I have been under the weather. I'm not going to go into it. It's really boring. Still having too many tests for my liking. Spend my life at the hospital at the moment. 
um, but we'll get there so anyway it's enough waffle now but it's nice to see you all and thank you for joining me I always love crafting with you it brings me great great joy and I know that sounds like a load of waffle but that is the truth so to revisit we are making don't worry all these little odds and sods bits we are making a 12 by 12 album now I need to clarify the 12 by 12 is the outside cover and the reason is I need the half an inch I could have done a quarter of an inch but I wanted half an inch because I'm going to be putting a significant amount of weight on here to make um, the pages stick basically so this is where we are now we have these two we have the inserts in the pages and we have the back page and the front page co covered so now now we finally get to see the rest of it put together so here we go so I had this beautiful brown um, oh, tassel this is a tassel and I had lots of charms coming off it and do you think I can find it no I'm not it wasn't a brown one it was a black one I can't find it for love nor money so I'm going with this and then after I've attached it because I need to attach it at a certain stage I shall put on um, a tie on the charms it's really gutted really gutted oh and I wanted to say thank you to oh so many people I have cards from Gertie that I need to show you for my charity for from Denise from Gaynor oh my goodness there's so many um oh dear please excuse me oh Gillian I know I'm forgetting so Angela um, so I've got cards and they've done me some lovely packs which I'm looking forward to showing you um, Ma Foster has made me or has got me the most wonderful um, pin charm for my um, my glue so I never lose it again and I haven't what I was horrified with people you know she sent me one it was a beautiful card she sent me a card right and she sent me that um pin charm that weighs about the weight of a gnat now the card is beautiful look the card is absolutely beautiful i'm trying to cover up her dress because i don't want to see it but isn't it beautiful have you seen how much it cost to post fourteen dollars and twenty five cents now if i were to post this to america this would be like well under a dollar i mean oh my goodness so, so you'll be getting you'll be getting stuff mar foster i'll have you know Oh my, I was horrified. That's a serious amount of money. And I know she sent them to other people as well. My goodness me. That's what I thought. My goodness me. I guess it wasn't right. So we are going to work today on getting a few of these pages started now i'm not going to go half a leather decorate all the cards and, and rush at it because there's no point they're too big and it's too important to mess up so these two are the inside ones because as you can see if i went to cover those up because of the size of the um the half an inch it wouldn't fit. So 
so they are for the insides these so I decided I was going to put butterflies on now these have got glittery sparkles on can you see and I thought they would be pretty and this is going to be the spine and as you can see I have there the hole for the tassel to go in a little more glamorous than that I'll, I will say that but that's where that's going to go and hang down there and I'm going to as I say put charms and all sorts on there I can't wait to show you my next project I'm so so tempted to say I'll show you this after my next project because but I'm not going to I can't wait right so we're going to do the front covers and then we have some can you see these bits of pieces that are going to be going on mm. right let's start now for those who have just joined my um youtube channel thank you for getting me over three thousand my word when did that happen one day i woke up and i i, I went on to my channel to look at something and it was just like wow everyone's got me over three thousand thank you so much so for any of you that have just joined me please excuse me <coughs> So for anyone that has just joined me, um, A, I craft with you one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of people don't like that. Um, sorry if you don't like it. There are so many channels that are more clinical that will show you how to do things. They won't talk and they'll, they'll teach you in a, in a very prompt and logical way. I'm sorry I'm not like that. I want to craft with you with you yeah with you right there um, so that's how I craft unfortunately my handshake and sometimes it is hysterically funny and sometimes it's ruddy annoying um, I don't swear out loud in my head sometimes there's one naughty words but yes so if you are new to my channel you will get used to me very well hopefully if you don't you can just you can just decide that I'm not for you I'm not for everyone I'm really not I will say that right so this is double-sided tape <sighs> it's very sticky double-sided tape and it's been out here for a long time through this the hot summer <laughs> do you know I have a sneaking feeling that that is do you know I think that is that horrible stuff well, I think it is but I want it gone anyway um, I shouldn't just say I think it's that horrible stuff I should explain it to you I um, have been using fudge a lot see fudge children friendly family friendly um, I was using the oh I can't remember what the paper's called you can't rip it <laughs> on a bit um, but the lovely gainer who is oh, exceptionally close I tell you this stuff is strong I'll give it that exception I'm exceptionally close to has been using vinyl and um, I'm just going to get rid of this because I do not want it to spoil the look of my um, look, I've got ink all over me did I tell you I'm a really untidy crafter I can be doing Copic colouring and I don't know how 
I managed to get it all over me. Oh, this is horrible stuff. Let's get rid of this. Sorry, I'm, I should have done this before, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting this. But at least you get to see that people who do make albums regularly, very regularly, do come across the most stupid things. But this was because, this is only because um, this has been out in this heat. I had a hot summer and um, I'm covered this my craft room is covered in glass so at times i mean it it melted my hot glue gun um glue off the wall so i just want to make sure that that isn't going to interfere with anything because i want it to be beautiful Because I am more than capable of doing beautiful things. Right, so up or down, front or back. So anyway, that paper, I'm trying to think of what it's called. I can't think of what it's called. It's going to annoy me. It's like fabric paper. I think it begins with T. You're all yelling it at me. I can hear you. Um, uh, blah, 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 I can't think of it um, and it's all got obviously gone funny but like I say that isn't the paper's fault but I have found that I, I have a brother scan and cut so I use a lot of clear vinyl and Gaynor has found that she is using her, not, it's not clear vinyl, it's coloured vinyl or white or black or whatever she's matching to her album. And, um, and it is ideal because it doesn't crack. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll try and see if I can use my clear vinyl to join them. And do you know what? Yeah, can and it's beautiful. It's amazing because it's um, it's just it looks lovely. I'll show you because again, I've got, <laughs> I've got another one on the go. This is the trouble. Right. So all this I've done is I have used double-sided adhesive. This is the um. Dear Lordy, should I be doing this today? This is the really nice double-sided tape, although I will say I have got a new one, which is most bizarre. I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? But when you rip it off, it rips off dead straight. And it's as strong as, as strong can be. Right, here we go. Right. Just want to make sure I have got... I just don't want these loose bits to in any way jeopardise. Which way should I do it? I want to do it a different way. Yeah. Right, so. I keep wanting to say it's Teflon paper and it's, it's not. What is that paper called? Now, 
now if there are bits like that that are over or under you might be looking at thinking hey, I have plans for all the edges so worry ye not right so I need this on here all as I done was used a crocodile one of the easiest ah here's that stuff it's called Walther Strong and it is Gol well you can see that if you can make sense of that but when you rip it because it's it's so you rip it and when you look at it when you look at it it is ripped the actual see it's dead straight how clever is that these things amuse me sad aren't I right so now this is going to be the hysterically funny bit <laughs> wow okay okay well, that was a a bit of a shock that went in okay so we're going to turn it over and I am going to stick that all the way down that glue and I am just going to stick a bit over it as well I can't think what this is called oh it's annoying me you know what I mean you know what it is you don't need to worry I don't need to worry you're way more intelligent than I am right so that is going to be oh, look where you're crafting that is going to be on the spine so we're going to do this one bit at a time which I am going to do the that bit oh oh for goodness sake Oh, I tell you. Right, so that is now standing up. I've already folded it. So I need to line it up. I'm not pushing it down. Because if I push it down, I won't be able to move it again. Because this is... How would one say it... Pro um, it is extremely strong stop be a good girl there. yeah okay so we are now just going to take our time flip that that way and just make sure I mean this here is canvas so that will cover up any of the um, we're over here we call it snot but that's such a vile word um, it will cover all the um, humps and bumps that were created by the peeling of 
that tape right so now cool right Oh, it's funny. Um, whenever we decide we're going to change things, I this was um, our like not compost where we used to put our tea bags in by our by our um, kettle, and we're going to throw it away because I got a new one. It's amazing what a piece, what some um, washi tape will do, isn't it? Right, so now we're going to fold that over and we're going to press it down gently, very gently at first. I'm going to straighten those. I hope to be getting another injection into my spine soon. The last time I um, had it done, um, because I can't have anaesthetic, um, I can't be anaesthetized. I take enough. Um, I take enough medication to um, put a horse to sleep, but for some reason, so I had. I have to have it done without it. But they tell me to um, take a, a couple of lugs of um, gas and air. Well, let me tell you, I got high as a kite on that, so I'm looking forward to having that again. Right, so that's pretty. I think that matches nicely. And you're all thinking, yeah, okay, if you say so. I didn't know whether to go for this as the it's a belt basically as the um as the catch to close it the closure can't remember what i decided to do but i thought i was ever so sweet i still might but i thought you know maybe that's cool now some of these bits here I have to be careful of because a lot of this stuff I've put by for gainer oh, honest. she's got a big pile I've got a big pile that's not it I put aside some pre-cut you've seen these beautiful um, Aren't they beautiful? Some ribbons on this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a nice thick one. That's a simple one. Sorry, can't see that one. But this is the one I'm using. There. And I can't seem to find. seem to find the rest of them I might have to get on with the other things that, that's just typical really isn't it finally get here and ready to go oh, catastrophe I hope you can't see that mind you I haven't been out here for so long I think you could forgive me for it being a little on the end unorganized side is that it no i cut them to size oh i tell you oh i tell you i certainly don't need that no this is gamers they're gamers bits 
We didn't see that gay enough, did we? No. Mind you. I'm not altogether sure you watch mine because you've got so much going on in your life at the moment anyway. Darn it. Oh, I'm really miffed. I had it all cut to size. And I don't want to have to change my plan. But it looks like I'm going to have to, people. This is not good. Did I put it on the other one? No, the other one's... Look at this. I'll show you very quickly. Look, this is the other one. Can you see it? Look, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? I see it and then it is purely going to be an album in here. And it's gonna hold it will look lovely. That's our next project. And you'll be surprised how cheap that is going to be to make. You will be amazed. Amazed, I tell you. Was that it? Oh, dear. No. Right. Okay. Well, for now... I am going to leave those to one side because I don't know where I've put them. Oh, that's got kind of sparkles on. Can you see that? Well, that might look prettier. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You can tell me. But I do like that one. But I'm sure I had it cut to size so that I didn't have to put you through torturous hours of um, see look even with this I've put tape on on this so that when I go to do my photo album you're not going to have to sit through torturous hours of that as well. And I will say, before you th say, well, that's going to make a really expensive photo album. It's going to hold a massive amount of, um, massive amount of photos. And here, this is overhead projector films. There's 120 sheets in here. It's 100 microns, so it's thin. Well, it's not that thin. But each one comes covered in paper so you can score it lovely and it does that means it won't then scratch so you can make loads of pockets so in no way i i, I can't remember i got this from amazon um you can buy anything or use anything you have and if you haven't got the ribbon um you can even use paper like this and just mitre it in like I have there see and then you can you can do it so many ways that there's an, there's no way that you won't be able to do it if you don't want to um if you want to that's what I meant sorry well my lovely ones I'm sorry that's what there because you can ink it as well that's really good it wasn't that expensive either for 120 sheets it's um right i'm giving up on that ribbon let's give up on the rhythm rhythm 
ribbon and move on to I, I will tell you what though is I bought some of this because I ran out of ribbon now this is more fabricy and it smells fausty um, it needs a good airing it's a lot thicker but as you can see it's very pretty so I need to find a way of I might put some nice spray on that and then put it through the tumble dryer so it makes it smell nice and then that's that done right anyway let's get on with this otherwise I'm going to be getting more and more negatives right so I am going to protect this otherwise oh this is good stuff as well if you use masking paper don't buy masking paper anymore buy this it's it's um, 10 meters long and it's 15 centimeters you get loads out of it no, yeah, I just thought I'd, you know, just straight in there with it. Let me, and then of course all these bits that you've got left over from the um, the um, clear film, you can use for other items. which will be a lot better. I just don't want that getting in the way all the time. Oop. And I always buy this thicker masking because they, um, they do the thinner one. Um, Jennifer Maguire uses a much thinner one. Um, I find that it rips my paper. I must be doing something wrong. But I also know the difference between <laughs> that size and that size. I mean, and this, this has been, that's just been around forever now. Right, so we've done that. We can move those out of the way and we can open up our first page. Now my my plans for the first page is let's move that out of the way either because I haven't decided on that. We are going to have a row of that doesn't need to go there that can go on that side which ones did I decide to do oh I've got some lovely ideas for this <gasps> some of them are just are just lovely now this one I think I am actually going to put on here because I didn't leave such a wide gap silly me and I am going to put my flaps down on there. No, I need to put my flaps. So let's turn that the other way round. Do we start from the back? No, we won't start from the back. Because that's going to be flat, I can do that right. Okay. It's always best in your head to get things how you want in your head before don't don't have an idea in your head and then just go with it think about it again before it comes to it now I have done these love it I have done these at seven and one quarter by five and one quarter so they're five by seven now these will be covered by paper 
I bought lots of paper because they had the um, the paper I was using they had one very similar in 8 by 8 at um, everything is a pound every crafts a pound which is the mariposa which is very similar look at that I can't wait to use that um, but there's so many oh, look at that so I bought one of this size and two of the 12 by 12 because the original one I started off with oh, that's the mariposa that's the mariposa was mulberry kisses and as you can see they're beautiful but they complement each other really well I think they do but I thought with the um, whichever one you prefer more you can use sorry I've got some extra double tape down there that's slightly different from the rest so I don't want to mix it up so I will be able to use that to cover those but I shall use as simpler ones as I possibly can I might even um, use some I've got some of this <laughs> can you see the shimmer on this so I've got this shimmer card I bought um, it's in pink ivory whatever color you put that and this gold and I I've <laughs> it was in a mixed box that I got for well next to nothing but I can um, and it was literally next to nothing I think it was 18 kilos and oh, I think it was about 12.99 um, I can use that to cover it up but black is always a good a good start for me I like black not everyone's cup of tea right so now then me and my straight lines don't work very well in fact me and my, my straight lines are ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so i am going to find what i've done with that I tell you I'm losing my marbles now I am going to have them right so if I, I've just unpeeled that now if I put them like that then they're going to lay flat which is a lot better if I turn them over like that then they're going to hold themselves up already I don't want to do that because I can put a fine piece of decoration along there which I think kind of helps however right so I am going to hold that in place because like I say I cannot make a straight line out of anything right so I am going to do that and then we are going to flip it over and I'm going to find I did have some clips which guess what kids oh well. we can do this right so I'm going <laughs> I am going to make sure that lines up again and I am going to push that right up flush and make sure it's flush against that ruler I think I can see a little gap there if there is a gap there I will simply at the end just grab my craft ruler and I will 
sort that out but I didn't want to have to do that because it's a pain in the posterior Ooh, sorry I keep hitting my head this is a new um, filming um, rig and it's it's um, slightly different from my old one so do bear with me right push it up against there up against there flush up against there that's there and it's up to you how many you put on I have done a lot of them because throughout this book I will be using quite a few so I thought while I was in the mood I would do a lot of them um, but you must do however many you like if you are actually going to do this you might think I don't want to do that you could even use the um, the clear um see look even even with it being as because when I cut them it could have literally have been out of fraction it um might be slightly out but it will work out beautiful it always does in the end if you want perfection crafting may not be the the way to go go in and buy one i find crafting is a part of being a great a part of a great community crafters are incredibly generous and supportive and i also find it's the best therapy for pain and also if you suffer with mental health issues the um the benefits you can get from being from crafting and being part of such a wonderful group of people it um it it does you no end of good I am very lucky that all my um, all my ailments are physical rather than mental, and I'm so lucky because people can see my um, illness if they look on an MRI or on a CT scan. Unfortunately, people with mental illness do not get that same luxury. It doesn't make you limp it doesn't make anything it's it's an incredibly sad disease but this has been proven as distraction therapy as wonderful um oh, i might have done that one a bit oh no i didn't we are going to have to go along and just obviously Well, mess that one up. Why did I mess that one up? What did I do there? Right, see, that's like I said, if I do one, I will simply Ooh, let's see if I can. Um, most nights over on not over on there um, Gainer who is stamping with joy who is a very joyful person no matter how many times people take a shot at her you know who you are um, um, 
some people have been incredibly nasty to her but what I was saying is she does uh, um, like a group chat while she crafts and we all meet up there and we all have a good old chin wag and to be honest it's probably more about seeing how everyone is and and talking about how we are and if you're lonely come along and, and, and join in we're welcoming you'll never find is my head in the way again I know I've got a fat head but um, you'll never meet a more welcoming group I don't think Let, hang on I've just got a, my um You'll, you'll not meet a more welcoming group. We've, we're um, we're a good lot, really. And it is a case of you. We all have a a good laugh and a giggle. There's no nastiness. There's no bitchiness. There's no sniping it's it's really it's fun so don't be lonely come over there we have all sorts on there we've got um we have the beautiful sandra who is an amazing crafter absolutely beautiful person as well um we have ian from crafting with ian Gertie will come in from Crafting with Gertie. Um, Debs will come in. Oh, there's so many people. Um, there's Carla. There's a lot of people from America. Um, there's so many people that come in. And, and once you're part of it, they look forward to seeing you again. Oh, poop. I should really get out my heat gun. If ever you find that your double-sided tape has stuck or a really, 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 really tough glue has stuck, get the um, hot glue gun on it. It will unstick it. If oh, for goodness sake, girl. Right. Now I have a mechanism that I need to put in there. So I need to leave enough space. Oh. Normally what I, what, what I would have done with no one watching is, I've done it again, um, is put along two strips of um tape either side I get it up against there make sure that's there get that up against there I think that one's a bit drunk let's try a different one unless it's me that's drunk Right, I think we are getting near that point. Yep, we are. Right, so these, oh, right, so I'll put that one there very quickly. Otherwise, I'll end up with that stuck somewhere and I'll be cursing in my head. And as it wasn't the piece of paper it was drunk, it was me. Silly sausage. No, it, do you know what it is? It's that paper. It's the paper. Is it? No, it's me. It's me. Right, so I will pop them to one side. 
Oh. Just bending over for that short time, honestly. Right, so now we are going to use Stay. We are going to use this piece of paper, which I absolutely love. I am going to put some decoration down there. So if you're thinking, oh my God, that looks really manky. It does at the moment. You're quite right. Now I need to take half an inch off that because I didn't do so. So I will get my trusty my trusty little trimmer that has to be it looks one of the naffish trimmers in the world can you see my can you see my cable I hope not it looks like it's one of the most naffish trimmers in the world yet the blades for them are so cheap and they're really good right so 11 and a half you can get these off Amazon and I buy the blades in packs of 12 and I think they're 8.99 can't moan at that you really can't moan at well you can moan at that can moan at anything now I want a piece of otherwise I'm going to not see where that black ends and starts right now looks like it's going to need a little see the there um hum, 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 hum. I'm going to glue this I think because I think I'm gonna need wiggle room yeah let's glue it and I don't usually like gluing it I do usually like to use um, my double-sided tape but I think I am going to need to use or need the wiggle room this is the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive I usually used to use the um, Cosmic Shimmer, it's fantastic. I know it looks like I put a lot on, but I really haven't. Um, and then I use the, um, the Art oh, Glitter Glue, but that just simply dries too quickly. And when you need a little bit of workability, It can set you to panicking, which can then set you to making stupid mistakes and not really through any fault of your own, but just thinking, oh, if I don't get that on soon. Right, so that's that. Now, I've got so much double-sided tape. I go through it like nobody's business. Now, do I want that one or that one? Hmm. I, these also come from I order most things from Amazon to be honest or craft and create um, 
um, every craft's a pound. Um, Seven Hills Crafts, where I order my some of my American stuff. Um, my uh, Simon Says Stamp I use a lot. All sorts. Right, so here we are going to going to put I've already put it on dun, dun, dun. I've put on tape here but I have left yeah so I'm going to do this one piece at a time because this could be explosive to say the least and when I mean explosive I mean like stupidity so I'm going to lay that on that corner luckily it's going on to acetate and usually acetate is fairly forgiving rip <laughs> you stay there, you naughty little sod. Right, so let's do the sensible thing, Cindy. Line up the bottom, which doesn't have tapes stuck to it. Remember what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be showing people how to do it, not how to be an idiot. really right now that's gone straight o over a bit so what I will do is I will trim that tiny bit off can you see it doesn't need to be on there it really doesn't need to be on there now let's get that second bit off Oh, I'll tell you what's a good idea. Let's leave it on. <laughs> days my hands are just beautiful working and it reminds me of better days and then you start to get angry at the silliest things that you can't do and then you think do you know what it's all right don't stress it's it's just crafting rip I should have done that one at a time. However, I had. Right. No, you stay there, you little. <laughs> See? Not out loud. I will just literally trim down. Anything that is overhanging the plaid. Now then, we are going to leave one that is 
we're not going to close down I need to make sure that that is not going to interfere with no cool I'm going to use this one yeah I'm going to use the thicker one so we are going to pop that along there we don't want to pop it up the other way because we want to be able to slide the panel in and out or will become clear in a minute I shall probably put more down the bottom because I don't want it all to disappear again all will become clear even if I have to do cut another half a layer off there right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole in this one and I'm going to use a smaller a smaller um, tassel and then that will be able to pull pictures in and out but I did want it no I think that's okay that's quite evenly spaced I don't like the fact that it goes over that far though so what I might do is just put a couple of small blockages um, not a lot just in key places that will just stop it from um, there from coming all the way over because we don't want that not really see if I done that can you still see that yeah it can't get past there then so that it actually stays there so if I put a few more going down and then afterwards I shall get my little sticky to take away some of the the stick because we don't necessarily want everything sticking to everything let's put that there no and there and there and then yeah loads of room but it's not going to go past the um and show I know what I mean I know what I mean it's not going you're not going to be able to see a gap let's put it that way right I'm just going to have to take my mic off for a moment Oh, 
I do have this lovely one. It smells of baby powder. I love it. That's it. <laughs> Let's put it back in its wallet in a minute. Yeah, the Hero Arts one is surprisingly good. Not surprisingly good. They've been around for... They have been around for... Is it 40 years? Yes, this year. And I get their monthly kit. They're outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I'm going to be doing some of those as well because less and less people are doing them now. Um, but I shall be doing that monthly as well right now I will get my sticky not my sticky my um my gunk remover get it all nice inside so that is that on the outside? I can't see. <laughs> no, it's on the inside. Right. Ah. Get off. Where is my alcohol? <laughs> that sounds good. Where's my alcohol? I've got so much stuff here, so much cleaner. You would think that I would just be able to put my hands straight to. Oh, what's that? Oh, smells pretty. Don't know what it is, but it smells nice. Give that a go. Trippies can't see. God, it really does smell nice. Oh, I know what that is. That's the um, that is the stuff I used to coat the inside of the glass uh, plastic balls to put all the pretty glitter on for Christmas. It made all the um, it made it all sit nice and pretty right so are you still in shot do i need to move that up a bit yes so don't need that we want that roughly down the bottom more than up top fairly equal side to side <laughs> and then stick that down and then where's that pretty smell? That is so cool. I must use that in my... Ooh, very nice. Very nice. And then what I shall do is, like I say, pop a hole in there so we are able to put pictures on and you'll be able to slot them in and out but you'll be able to put big ones in there which is really nice and if you decide that you don't you're happy and you're just gonna leave them in and you don't want to pull it out then you can just leave it in and put it in between so yes i think that's kind of cute but i would now the next one I pick that one no I wanted that one I liked that one that pattern so what have I done with that one right I have the whole pack of um, 
12 by 12 paper that I've drawn all the plans out on. Do you think I can find them? No. Right, so what I did, let me explain what I did. So, boom me if you like. But I went to, on AliExpress and I bought a, um, if I had known where else to get those, I would have bought them, um, but I don't. So there was a whole set and they start from like quite, well, and they work all the way down to small. So th there's a lot of them. Um, and I haven't seen them anywhere else. So, there's so not a lot I can really do about that um, if if I can't find them anywhere else. I do try to um, use um, shops in this country or in America, but do you know what? Sometimes no, I'm I'm quite happy shopping in AliExpress. This one, as you can see this is going on the back so no one's going to see it so you can this sun had called it where it like i say it, it had been so sunny here so <clears throat> what i did is i got a piece of paper this is beautiful it has lovely sparkles on and i cut it out and as you can see it leaves um the cut marks along that side as well and i'm going to put that on there so that we have a a nice stand-up mirror and we are going to put that in there I'm going to may not cause that much of a pout probably not so I might trim that down and just rescore that a little because I don't think I need it quite that significant so anywho and then i will you will will be able to slide because it's got the got also got the um stitch marks along there as well you can either do some journaling there and then you can pop photos on there and pull it in and out you can journal on the back to say this photo was taken on such and such who's in the photo and any memories you had of that day because you'll be able to take it in and out it isn't a fixed photo so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just alter this now I have lost this thing so many times it fell out of there so many times I finally finally got around to sorting it out right my little rant so we are going to push that up see I, I left too much on that this side but like I say we're human or I am others might do it right every single time or they edit out and make it look like they're perfect perhaps they are perhaps it's just me that's clumsy could be but I don't mind I don't mind if it's just me I'm woman enough enough to take it so we only need we need the thin if you've ever got one of these school boards fat one is for designer sheet paper or for thin paper that small one is for card and especially ac acetate you are going to have to score at this acetate even though it's a thin one significantly to be able to get it to bend straight so I am just going to line that up on you can see where that's lined up you might not be able to but I am going to move it along just a slight hair I wish my hair was that thick I 
So when I said to do that, it's probably best not to move it like I just did. see if I have done that properly I, think I might just leave a tiny space either way that's really annoying it's actually that side so if I it is, it's that side. Oh, that side fits perfectly. It's that side. I need it. Right, okay. So, I hope you are all well. And you are finding the whole crazy situation with the world hysterically funny or just awful. So we are now going to give that some oomph. I'm quite looking forward to trying out the um, Copics against the others because if I can find a way of bringing you Copic-like um, quality because I, I finally understood the Copic system and it's very good it is very good so if I can understand it so can you right. and if I if it would be possible then I would be really happy should you want it you might think I don't want Copic I've got my own Spectrum Mars which are very good or my Chameleons also very good I've used them all Ah, that's better, isn't it? And then that can just slide in there. Like so. But you can move it out. And then that will just sit under there and leave a little frame. See, I'm not all that crazy, really not really now i will just put some double-sided tape on that side as well score tape that's what they call it see score tape score tape let's move that i don't need that i always wonder why they call it score tape but it's made by sue quang I remember I got it from um, uh, Amazon years ago, and I mean years ago, it was years ago, and I thought, they've palmed me off with something really cheap and nasty here, and I paid quite a bit of money, well, to me, back then, and I decided that I wouldn't buy it again, and I found out after all these years, <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. Oh dear, it's amazing what you pick up as you go, isn't it? I'm also going to be revisiting one of my old projects again, but with a slight twist. It's one of my um, most popular ones as well. I thought you might like to know. I'm bringing back some 
some handbags but with a twist I shall just hmm, shan't need to do anything Oh, I wish you I wish you knew how nice that smelled and then that can just slide in there and that is as you can see lovely slip and slide now I am going to put that I'm going to use oh do I use glue yeah the way I am at the moment this is a very light glue this one um, I don't know if usually mind you I don't usually build I build big albums but not usually 12 by 12 or 12 by 11 and a half um, I usually build them a lot smaller um, and they can go soggy if you overuse the glue so always beware that when you are using glue on um, on your projects to use a minimal amount if you go back on the very first tutorial I show you'll see that I, I show you quite a few different ways of adhering using um, tape so that you can get it down straight oh. oh well guess what's going there an embellishment No, 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 no. I should just put an embellishment there. I know exactly what I can do there. I will not compromise. <laughs> right, wish me luck, people. This could be painful to watch. Yeah, so I have... I have been doing a lot of colouring in where I haven't been able to craft much and when I have crafted it, I, have, I haven't been out of my craft room for ages and I've missed it so much but unfortunately um, Maggie who is my eldest dog um, and Sam both are very poorly at the same time um, terminally poorly and I have to give them my time before my crafting um, so we tend to I lay all the special sheets down on my my bed and we tend to have a little snuggle and they go they sleep a lot um, but that why probably why I haven't done as much yes wow dun 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 really very cool right so I need to trim off some there can you just see that there Goodness me, I must get used to this quicker than that. Oh, I tell you what, these things do really save hand fatigue. They really do. And I don't usually use anything sticky with these, but I thoroughly clean it anyway afterwards. So. I will ease that under without causing any damage which hmm. 
and again I will put something on there that will show that you can pull it but if I get that bit in it's that bit that's catching that's it that's the one I shall stick that but once I've made sure I've got everything perfect Ooh. and then that can just slide in there and then we've got that page will go on there I've cut that one ready um, let me just do that second I have um I have got to find my plans for the rest of these so that I can get them mainly prepared so that you don't have to sit through it too long already. Sorry, peoples. I know some of you like to chat and talk, but there's a limit, I know. Um, so anyhow... I will find the list, get them nearly 100% ready, and we will go from there. So I know this doesn't look exciting. This has got to see in and just get used to it. I will finish that off. I will finish this off. I've got um, a lovely, uh, I will show you how we will do the tags on this though. Um, how we are going to grip these down, hold these down. I have to say they're not going anywhere. I am going to cover them. Um, I will be adding strips down here. I will be using clear strips so you can't see them um, for you for, for tuck-ins. This one is for, like I say, a big picture. That one you can do the picture and the I will put a thingy on there and who it is and blah blah and we will get that dry before we close it again shall we Cindy yes right so I'm going to leave this to dry without me fiddling around with it and I will be back fairly shortly-ish once I've found the plans. So for now, thank you for watching. I'm really sorry this has been an hour and 38 minutes. I know it seems such a long time for such a short amount of time. I must glue that bit down as well. Um, but I want to show anyone who knows how to do this can literally just watch flick through quickly you know what i'm doing and do it it's for the people that don't know what i'm doing that i'm doing it for so hopefully they'll they'll enjoy it right so for now i will find my beautiful plans and i will be back shortly now i'm out here i shall cracking so thank you for sharing your time with me i am really sorry that the um time has gone on so long I hadn't realized um and i know it seems to take such a long time to do every page but that page for a start was um god listen to that rain good time to finish um was ex that took a lot of time some of these are so easy to make from now on that you'll um you'll find it will go by quickly i would also like to show you how to make um one of these books if you're interested it's a gift book um gift box that you can put things in it's a very very old one and i've had it a long time and i think it was sam clayton i got the idea from can't swear to it i really can't but it it looks like it's distressed leather but anyway that's food for thought. 
so for now i will say thank you very much for watching me sorry this has taken so long i would never usually take this long to do to do these pages but they have been quite in depth so i will now take that off and you can you'll see it start to come together and I shall put the um, the charms on right so I will say ta-ta for now thank you so much you mean a lot to me every single one of you and that isn't just me it's the truth every one of you is precious and anyone that watches and leaves a comment is well thank you it does the heart it, it does me a lot of good right so big 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 crafty hugs to you all and take care thank you for watching bye 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 darlings <laughs>